FAMU football player has an off-the-field skill that could prove valuable now that he can use it to make money. Fox 4's Jeff Kolb has that story. When it comes to football, SMU safety Ra Kazadi goes hard. Off the field, Kazadi pours his soul into another life passion, painting. What do you see in his eyes? I see a lot. I think I see my own, so I think it's kind of a reflection of myself. Do you risk sometimes burning the candle at both ends between football yeah. and, and this? Yeah, 100%. His art is valuable. His football identity at SMU, a platform that could help him sell his work to a much bigger community. But until this month, that was against NCAA rules. I was able to do a lot of things, but I couldn't do it as like Ross and Kazadi, the football player. I had to just have like a bunch of different separate accounts so that we could like engage in that process of like commissions. On July 1st, the game changed. At the state level, Texas put into effect a new law allowing student athletes to profit off of their name, image, and likeness, commonly known as NIL. At the same time, the NCAA indefinitely lifted its NIL rules, developments to the college sports world that Kyle Conder, SMU's executive senior associate athletic director, calls momentous. Student athletes can be compensated for their own use of uh, their name, image, and likeness. Uh, they can be compensated for selling their autograph. And if they want to, they can get a, a, a marketing rep or somebody who can help them pursue uh, name, image, likeness opportunities. For Ra, the changes are already paying off. More commissions, more interest in my art, um, and just a lot of fun. For years, the NCAA had promoted this message of going pro in something outside of sports, but their rules had always hamstrung the athletes from really getting a jump start on that. Now people like Ra can use this platform to work on their dreams outside of the game before their athletic careers are over. I think it's really cool for people to be able to prepare for later now. I think it gives a lot of guys the, the space to be more, and especially people who haven't had the idea of being even more than an athlete because they weren't allowed to. You'll see student athletes um, who are backups on the volleyball team or swimmers or rowers who will take advantage of this um, in ways that I think haven't previously been contemplated. It sounds to me like it's, it's different levels of perspective. It is, yeah. It's all about perspective. So. To Ra, making art isn't just about making the money. It's his tool to communicate his feelings to the world. It's really unique because it cuts through a lot of the noise. Lately, a lot of his work has spoken to the ongoing social justice dialogue. With this NIL rule change, he can now have that conversation with a much greater audience. That means a ton, like being able to use the platform to the fullest because nobody's gonna have it long. And being able to talk to people on an emotional level is usually how you come in contact with them. And like that real change starts to happen. Like it happens up here before it happens out here. So. I think that paintings allow you to do that. Profiting off of NIL is a big change, but it falls short of another concept that's been talked about for years, pay for play, a setup where schools would pay their student athletes. Whether or not this NIL development is a stepping stone for that remains to be seen. The law is very clear that just being a college athlete is does not make you an employee of the institution, which I think is what pay for play at its heart is really is about. Does it feel like this is like one step away from pay for play? Yeah, um, I have no idea. I think we're a lot of steps closer and a lot of steps away. I think that we've got to figure this out first and then we'll figure that out. In Dallas, I'm Jeff Kolb, Fox 4 Sports.